Well, hey, New Hope friends and family, it's Pastor Andrew just jumping on with our quick midweek update to let you know everything that's going on here at New Hope. And we've got a really exciting week ahead. It all really started today. We've had a great day, already a busy day. We started off with our prayer group this morning, and then all of our preschool staff and church staff joined together for our CPR certification training for CPR and AED to learn those life-saving techniques. It's great to be able to say that all of our staff and all of our preschool teachers are trained and ready to offer those life-saving interventions if needed. Hopefully we'll never need them, but boy, is it great to know those things if you ever do need it. We love the fact that New Hope is a place that you can know when your children are here, when your loved ones are here, that they're gonna be safe and well cared for and taken care of. So we've got a busy night tonight as we always do on Wednesday nights. From six to eight is our midweek program for students in sixth through 12th grade where they gather together and have dinner, Bible study, and fellowship. We've also got our Disciple Bible Study class. It's a Disciple 3 class that meets off-site down at the Phillips House at 6.30. And choir is at 7 p.m. And this is the exciting season where they're getting ready for the Christmas cantata in addition to their normal Wednesday night practice. So if you've ever thought about being a seasonal singer, that's someone who doesn't sing in the choir every single week, but you would sing in the cantata at Christmas or at Easter, this is your time. Just come at seven, between seven and 7.30, and Corey will get you all plugged in with the music and everything you need to sing in our Christmas cantata. It's beautiful, but they're just getting started practicing, so you haven't missed anything. You can jump right in and start learning that. So busy day today, and we've got a really big day coming up on Saturday. You already know what it is. Trunk or treat. The weather report's looking great. We've already hooked up with King of Pops. They're gonna be out here. We've got inflatables and games, and the big thing we need is you with your trunks for the trunk or treat portion. We still need candy. We can never not still need candy. We'll never have enough candy. We can never have too much candy. So remember, the church office is open tomorrow from nine to two. And then of course, we're closed on Friday, but you can always bring candy when you come to the event on Saturday. Now, talking about that specific event, we need everybody, all hands on deck here at 1 p.m. Come set up your car, get ready to hand out candy, and um, come be here to help out. It's just going to be an awesome event. We'd love to have 25 or 30 cars circling this whole building, all set up, ready to hand out candy. So please, if you can be here, join us at 1 o'clock on Saturday. From 1 to 2, we'll set up, we'll get everything ready. Then at 2 o'clock, the floodgates open with our community coming on campus, being loved on, being shared the love of Jesus in a tangible form through silly things like games and candy and inflatables. And that event will be from 2 to 4 on Saturday. Again, 1, 1 p.m. is set up and we still need candy. So bring it, bring it tomorrow, bring it tonight if you're coming to youth or choir. Um, or on your way to Disciple, or just if you want to know that, hey, church is going to be open for choir, you can drop it off, bring it tomorrow between 9 and 2 a.m. and can't hit either of those, bring it on Saturday when you come at 1 o'clock for the event that starts at 2 o'clock. Now, Sunday is a really big day for the church. Today, I'm really excited about it. We're starting off with our normal worship schedule at 9 a.m. for contemporary, 11 a.m. for traditional. We're going to be concluding our Rooted series. It's been a really fun series as we've really been digging into some of Jesus' great teachings about planting, about pruning, about nurturing and growing. And Sunday, we're going to conclude with the idea of harvesting. It's really the goal, right? When we plant, we plant to reap a bountiful harvest. And we're going to talk about that on Sunday at 9 and 11. And then on Sunday at noon, I'm really excited about something that I think is going to become a tradition for us here at New Hope, at least annually, if not more often. It's our State of the Church Address, a time where we can come together and just share all about all the exciting things that are happening about at New Hope. Let everybody know where we stand, how we're doing financially, how our staff's doing, how of the things we've got planned for the future. Just a really great time to update that, as well as a conversation about our denomination, to have some honest conversation, some very informative conversation about everything that's going on in the denomination. And one commitment I'm going to make to you is we're not going to talk about anything that's not true. We're going to talk about facts, and we're going to dispel a lot of rumors, a lot of misinformation, and we're all going to get on the same page and move forward together. So I hope you'll plan to be here. It's really a great event for uh, if you've been a regular attender, and certainly if you're a member of the church to come for that, it'll be at noon. We're going to plan to be here for about an hour. The staff 
and the church leaders will stay as long as we need to stay afterwards to answer any individual questions that you might have. But I hope this is going to start a great tradition that we can do this every so often to make sure that we're all on the same page and we're all moving forward with a clear vision of where God is leading New Hope. So that's Sunday, right after the 11 o'clock service. We're going to not start, even if we finish a few minutes early at 11, we won't start till noon so that our contemporary worship folks who have come at nine and gone home or gone and grabbed something to eat or something can come back and join us at noon. So that meeting will begin at noon on Sunday. Now, one last thing I want to mention. You see, we've just got a very few shoe boxes left. Two Sundays ago, this entire area was full of shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child. So here's my challenge for Sunday. Even if you've already gotten one or if you haven't had a chance to get yours yet, grab one of these. We want every single one of these shoe boxes gone on Sunday so we can start shifting our focus from giving out the boxes to getting the boxes filled and turned back in. So I don't know, that's, that's not very many. That's like less than 20. I think it's 17 total. So we can do that in New Hope. I mean, we had over 100 when we started this thing. So 17 should be easy. So let's grab those. Let's fill those. It's going to be an awesome day on Sunday. I hope you'll be here at 9 for contemporary, 11 for traditional. Definitely come back for a State of the Church address. It's going to be a positive, uh, uplifting time as we talk about God's vision and direction for our great church. And let's get these things filled. I can't wait to see you soon, New Hope. I'll be here Sunday. I'll be preaching this final great message about the harvest, which is just going to move right in to the amazing message of the state of the church. So I'll see you soon right here at New Hope UMC in Gainesville, Georgia.